Take that, zoinks. Oh, you got your ankles broken, buddy. The Jackal PDW is a meta SMG in BO6. And this thing will have you running down the enemy competition with my setup that also dropped me the nuke in today's gameplay. All right, so here today we are using the Jackal PDW SMG, which is an absolute menace on Nuketown or any other close quarter map. And we're going to be starting out with the Optic. This is an Optic I have been using on a majority of my classes, the Merlin Mini. It is an amazing attachment to use. And honestly, you can get away with using an iron sight if you'd like to give that a try too you don't need to put this on but the merlin mini i was using today and going crazy and of course drop the nuke for the second attachment here is going to be the muzzle and the muzzle is an attachment that does help out the recoil on this weapon the compensator is what we threw on today helping out the vertical recoil control quite a lot we look in the statistic you are going to get 25 percent to your vertical recoil control but also 23 percent to recoil gun kick which is your visual recoil when shooting the weapon. The third attachment on the list is going to be the barrel. And the barrel we had on today is the long barrel. The long barrel, when it comes to SMGs, definitely helps out because of the drop-off. The drop-off is going to be pretty quick when it comes to shooting kind of towards the mid-range area. This is going to help that damage range a lot. If we look into statistics, you don't actually see any details, but just know that your damage range is going up. That's why there's a little green bar of firepower, and this is going to help out at further ranges. And the under barrel that we put on today is the vertical vertical foregrip which this is going to help the horizontal recoil control instead so we look in the stats on this one you are going to gain a huge 30 percent t horizontal recoil and only three percent recoil gun kick as well for the magazine today i do like throwing on a lot of magazines for all these setup because we've been playing a lot of close quarters a lot of nuketown and you don't want to run out of ammo on that map for sure so we have the biggest mag we can put on the extended mags too as you know when you put on a bigger mag it makes the gun heavier it's going to get slower on the mobility and handling and all that stuff so we look in the statistics on this one you are going to lose 19 percent reload quickness 41 percent empty reload quickness so when you, every time you reload your gun it's going to be a little slower and then 10 percent aim down side speed and 18 percent sprint to fire speed which isn't really that bad the next attachment is going to be a rear grip the rear grip that we had on is the commando grip this is going to help out some of that ads and sprint to fire speed bringing it back that we just lost from the previous attachment you're going to gain back 9 percent ads speed and 13 percent sprint to fire speed almost as if you didn't lose much at all for our stock of choice we had on the balance stock this is another thing that's going to help out with a lot of the movements so this is going to give you a number of things of aim walking movement speed movement speed hip fire movement speed and strafing movement speed so you can see that you gain a nice 10 percent to movement speed 16 percent to crouch movement speed and 12 percent to aim walking movement speed overall making the mobility better on this weapon we do not have a laser but the last attachment we do have on is the fire mod the one i was using today is rapid fire it is going to be a little harder to control your recoil so if you're not comfortable with using rapid fire you could definitely throw on recoil springs as an alternative this is a great attachment for having more of a beam and easier times of controlling your recoil rapid fire of course is going to make it to where you can hit your enemy at a faster rate so they do die quicker if you hit all your shots but again you can see that you do lose quite a bit of recoil stuff 20 percent recoil gun kick 25 percent horizontal and 20 percent vertical while over it when you go into recoil springs you're going to gain eight percent recoil gun kick five percent horizontal and eight percent vertical so whichever floats your boat those are both great options now here in the fire range you see our ads speed is pretty instant so you can be able to get into that gunfight really fast and that recoil control is still decent with the rapid fire but it is a little harder to control especially on the 50 meter if you're trying to shoot someone at the 50 meter you're gonna have a bit of difficulty doing so uh recoil springs will make that a lot better if you want to shoot at that far of a range but rapid fire will be just fine on the 25 and 10 meter range on close quarter maps if you were wanting the rest of my class setup here we have a back pocket grekhova and you can copy all of the attachments right here on the screen if you'd like to give this a try i have flashbang on i know a lot of people like running stim shot if you are a stim shot user definitely throw it on i'm not saying it's bad i just like throwing flashbang so whichever one you prefer semtex is very op the freaking grenades on this game are absolute dukes and i die to them a lot assault pack is what allows me to get more ammo if i ever run out i do run out of ammo quite a bit because i'm going on streak this is really really helpful for going for nukes and then the perks that i run are the red set of perks i know a lot of people run the blue set of perks so they get those like wall hack things every time they spawn in and stuff but i don't really Really care about that i rather have the enforcer that i get from running three different perks and that is a very very good thing for when i'm running and gunning getting kills because it buffs that movement speed and health regenerates this is really helpful for going for nukes as well if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and get straight into those nuke gameplays i keep forgetting to put a camo on this smg we can't show off its 
beauty with a SMG that well, so that's why I pulled out an AR that game. That's a triple nade. Good stuff. Oh, I'm dead. Bolts, we're good, we're chilling. Okay, singles, we got a harp, we got a harp, boys. Bro, I didn't know my pistol wasn't reloaded. Holy frick. Big 20. Harp is gone, though. Oh, my gosh. That guy's got an LMG or something. He's just spraying. Okay, we finally got a kill. Took me a while. Another nade. That's a brutal. And I got a nade kill. 26. I'm trying to play smart, but these guys aren't pushing anything. They're not giving me anything to work with. There we go. I know you got one. We got it. We got it. Oh, we did it. They're like beating us by a lot of points, but man, I had to play super slow for that. They were giving me nothing to work with. GG's number three. Oh, today's a great day. Too bad I didn't have the camo on. Oh yes, what a great, absolute fantastic time. Too bad it's all on Nuketown, but I hope you guys don't mind. There's gonna be a lot of Nuketown gameplay this week. Oh my gosh. How am I alive? Oh my god. I'm dead, finally. Oh my god, I need to call it in. Sorry guys, but you're gonna lose. Codes are in. The nukes are in. Double rainbow. With the nuke. That's a 70 and 12. An absolute beauty of a game. And we'll take that nice duh. Nuke number five.